Why, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel here at Jay's Candle Corner. It is your boy Jay. Hi. It's been a couple of months. What's up? I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Um, I know it's been a while. I've just been stopping myself from ordering so much wax and actually getting through what I already had. So, uh, yeah, then I got bored and I wanted to order some more. So here we are. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys for still being here, who's still here and subscribed. Thank you very much. I apologize. So let's just get on into what I got here. Uh, this is from Jenny's um, February pre-order that included the ever popular chunk muffins and a bunch of other great stuff. And I got chunk muffins, uh, chunk muffins because who don't love a good chunk muffin? Yeah. All right. So let's start off with the lovely business card that is so cool looking. Love your order. Snap, share, tag. That is pretty freaking cool. I'm loving like the, what's the word? Iridescence of like the text, that's so cool. So there's that. Now let's just dive on into what I got here. Starting off with the a sample, which is a cereal killer and a cup of cake. So let's give it a little sniff. Got a cute little orange bunny. Oh wow. Ooh, yeah. Yep, the first thing I get is Fruit Loops. <laughs> That is immediately what I get first. Fruit Loops galore. So I don't know why I haven't got onto like the whole cereal craze. It's, I don't know why. It's just, it, it just, I, it, it, it me. Okay, anyways. So before we get into the actual chunk muffins. I have an Easter egg. So Jenny included these Easter eggs and everyone's order and each order contains something different. So let's see what mine consisted of. I got candy. I love me some candy. Hershey's good, Mr. Good Bar and a crackle. We love candy. I know some eggs were like candy. Some was like discount codes, such and uh, so on and so forth. So. The first chunk muffin that I have is Key Lime Kokomo, which is Key Lime Pie, Rainbow Sherbet, Saltwater Taffy, and Vanilla Ice Cream. This one was a wild card for me because I wasn't really sure how I would like the Key Lime Pie situation because y'all know I'm not no bakery boy. <laughs> so I, I was like, you know, I will give it a, I, I'll give it a try. So that's what that bad boy looks like. Gorgeous, love the colors. Give it a sniff. Oh. Oh, this is actually really nice. Okay. I do get the rainbow sherbet and I get the key lime pie. And they intertwine with, you, with each other. Like one doesn't overpower the other. And then that vanilla ice cream gives it, like, gives it this nice, rich creaminess. Yeah. And then the saltwater taffy adds this extra pop of like this sugary sweetness. That's like, come it it it. It's like I get the rainbow sherbet, the key lime pie, the saltwater taffy, then the vanilla ice cream. I love it. I actually really love this. So that's what that looks like. I love the chunks. Oh, so cool. So cool. And that's why we love chunk muffins, right, everybody? Yeah. All right. That is that one. I kept my order kind of small. Well, well, Oxeter is small for me, rather. Um, this is Viva Las Vegas, which is stainless steel, all-nighter, Swedish dream salt, and oak moss. And I did forget what all-nighter was. Oops. I'm sorry. That babble. Oh, you're strong. 
I smell you from back here, buddy. I love like the pink and the black with the white. That is so cool. All right, let's give it a smell. Ooh, that is some masculine goodness. The addition of the oak moss really takes it somewhere. That oak moss tied with that Swedish dream salt, it really does something. Ooh, it's like this, like you get that fresh kind of like saltiness. Then the oak moss as this really like, I, I don't want to say vibrant, but like this, this fresh, like cozy green undertone. Ooh, then that stainless steel really gives it like that masculine kick. Oh, yes. And whatever all nighter is, I, it's kind of giving off like this very subtle, like cologne, like like after like after effect. It's tying in with the stainless steel. Ooh, oh that is nice. That is super nice. Love that. Okay. Next we have. This is passion fruit pineapple lemonade, which is passion fruit, mandarin, pineapple, melon, and fresh lemonade. Beautiful. Got the orange and the pink. So pretty. Mm-hmm. This is fruity goodness right up my alley. Ooh. I get that passion fruit and that mandarin like right off the bat. And then you get that pineapple. Oh, this smells so good. I get that pineapple. Oh, mm -hmm. I think the melon is like a honeydew because it's not super strong, but I get like a smidgen of a melon note. And I think it's like a honeydew possibly, but I definitely get the passion fruit first, then that pineapple then the lemonade then the mandarin oh this is that is mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so good it's like juicy and it's i can almost taste it good grief it reminds me of like a um like a hawaiian punch sort of smell so good all right Next we have Fierce Morning Sex in the November Rain, which is a Fierce Cologne, Abercrombie type, which smells so good by the way. November Rain, um, Yankee type. Uh, morning Sex, which is fresh and clean. And let's dive on into it. Let's see here. Beautiful. Blue and, like blue and like a, like an aquamarine-ish color. All right, let's give it a smell here. Oh, this is beyond lovely. This is lovely, this is lovely. Mm-hmm. You definitely get that. I think I, I think I get the morning sex first, and then I get the fierce cologne, and then that November rain. That November rain really adds this nice aquatic freshness to it. This reminds me of a cologne that I actually wear. If any of you guys or girls that's watching know um, the cologne Eternity for Men Aqua, this is this kind of reminds me of that. Oh, that is so good, so good. All right, we got a couple more here. Next up, we have Bada Bing, which is cedar, tobacco, scotch, dark brown sugar, creamy vanilla, and mahogany woods, inspired by The Sopranos. When I was a kid, I grew up watching The Sopranos all the time. I probably shouldn't have, but I was. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Beautiful. Is, is that not like the coolest looking piece of wax? Love the color combination. All right, let's give it a sniff. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, 
I definitely do get that cedar and the mahogany woods. Oh, and then I get that, I get that, that, that scotch. And then I get the tobacco. And it's like a sweet kind of smoky tobacco. Then I, oh, then I get the, I get the brown sugar and that vanilla, which adds like this nice, like smooth creaminess right underneath the woody aspects. Mm. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of like walking into like a speakeasy. It like, like late at night, and it's kind of like, kind of like dark and less like mysterious and just like a whole vibe. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that'd be a great cologne. Wow. That smells so good. Ooh. I would probably save bada bing for like the fall. More than likely. It's, to me, it's a very fall scent. Um, it's pretty heavy to milk for like summer. Um, next we have one of my faves, Don't Be Salty, which is Cucumber Rain and Salty Sea Air. Love Don't Be Salty so much. What's that bad boy looks like? Beautiful. Just screams fresh goodness, right? Oh, yes. You get that cucumber. And it's not like that, like that wiltering moldy kind of cucumber. It's like a freshly cut cucumber, like right off, like right out the garden. It's kind of like, it has like this kind of like aquatic undertone to it. It's really green and vibrant. Like it is a fresh cucumber. Then you get that salty sea air, which is, oh, yes. And the rain just, uh, so good. Uh, love me some salty sea air and some um some rain and cucumber i just it three of my favorite fresh oils to blend other stuff with so don't be salty is magnifico next we have citrus breeze which is lemon lime orange blossom cyclamen uh ylang ylang and lavender linen this is not new to me either but um it is a very strong blend, I can tell you that. <laughs> very strong. Look at that. It just screams spring, right? That vibrant purple. I know it's giving Barney. You don't got I know. You don't got to say it. I know. <laughs> but, uh, it does not smell like Barney. It smells like a nice, vibrant, fresh, clean spring day. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This, this would be a great, like, it reminds me of some sort of fabric softener. I can't think of one off, like, the back, but it gives, like, fabric softener vibes. Ugh. Yes. That la- mm. I think what really does it is that lavender linen. And then you, and then I, you toss in that lemon lime. And I do pick up that orange blossom and that, cy Ugh. And that cyclamen. Mmm. Now I do have a um, mini, melter multi mini melter bag of this also. And I just was like, I need more. So I just got, <laughs> I just got an extra muffin. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I love to melt this kind of scent right when I'm done cleaning. Um, typically I would melt this in the bathroom normally. Either in the bathroom or the, or the, um, or my bedroom. But I realized that I prefer this blend in a bathroom or um, down the hallway because I have a I have a warmer at the end of my hallway. So this uh, that makes a great scent um, after like after a day of cleaning. And my last chunk muffin is as it was, which is clothes on the line, cotton candy frosting, and fresh rain. Anybody here a Harry Styles fan? Not just me. Cool. All right. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Oh, this is. Mmm, this smells so good. 
Oh. You wouldn't think that clothes on the line would mix with cotton candy frosting and fresh rain, but it really does something. I can't quite figure out what it does, but it does it. This would be a great like body care too, like a fragrance mist or like, like a cologne or something, which I would totally buy if this was like, if it was a type of like body care item, I would totally buy it. Cause I definitely get that cotton candy frosting. Mm. Like to me, it's the strongest note, but then, but then I get that clothes on the line too. Like it's not in your face, but there's like this, like this like whispering freshness from clothes on the line. It's kind of breezy and like fresh and just like aromatic, but that cotton candy frosting really just like is kapow, you know? But in like, but in a very like subtle, like soft way. And the fresh rain adds this extra touch of this like freshness. Like it's not, it's not making the overall scent an aquatic blend, but you can definitely pick up some of that like aquaticness. Oh, love that. Love that, love that, love that. So that concludes my chunk muffin order i definitely could have gotten way more but i just wanted to keep it very um very uh timid uh this time around i, did, I didn't really want to go too crazy right off the bat at all i could have but i just i i, I personally chose not to so <laughs> I don't know where the accent came from. Anyways, so let me know if you guys got any of these same blends. If you did, what were your favorites? Are they all your favorite? Which I'm pretty sure most of us, you know, have a hard time picking favorites from, from Jenny. It's kind of hard to, cause she has some great blends. So uh, yeah, I will be checking in with you guys another time. I do have a custom order coming in from a, new to me vendor um i cannot wait to tell you guys about that and show you what i got and the blend that i came up with for that so i'll be getting that in the coming weeks but until then it was great being back with you all hopefully everyone is having a great spring season and hopefully you're doing ha hopefully you're doing well you're happy and you're just Try your best to be stress-free and get through this and get through this life as happily as possible. Because things can get kind of hard out here. Anywho, until next time, I love you guys. Over and out. Bye.